Hello my loves and welcome to a one month post-op of gastric sleeve. I'm finally here with the video being able to sit down and finally get your an uh, questions answered and just give you guys an update of how it's been and how much I've lost and all this good stuff that you guys want to know. I finally gave myself a three day weekend off which has not happened in a really long time so I do have to film some videos. I do have to do some cleaning up. I hope that you guys can see the background but there's a huge mess because I started cleaning up my closet and taking everything out that like I don't wear, haven't worn, aren't gonna wear and keep on telling myself that I'm gonna wear it someday so I'm, gonna, I'm just holding on to it and like I'm never gonna wear it. So I finally have a huge pile back there that I'm just gonna like donate to a women's shelter um, but definitely gonna go to donation. So yeah, um, it's officially, well by the time I'm filming this video, it's officially been over a month already. I feel absolutely amazing, I feel great, I feel happy and I feel like I'm gaining my confidence back and I feel healthier, lighter, like I can do things, like more energy. That's just like the best thing that I felt is more energy and just like I feel more alive. Like like the fire in me is like starting to like fire up and it just keeps getting better. It just it just keeps getting better. No complaints and absolutely no regrets. Yes, it was very rocky at first and I thank a lot of you guys for like reaching out and reassuring me that, you know, what I was going through at the beginning, you know, the beginning few days, couple weeks of post-op gastric sleeve I did feel like I wasn't sure if I was having chest pain or if it was just like my stomach that was you know cut you know, being sore I was not sure and I'm just like glad that a lot of you guys like reached out and were able to like make me feel better about it and tell me like no it's completely normal it'll go away and eventually it has gone away those pains that I had at the beginning have like gone away eating is completely different y'all um my skinny brother i used to look at him and be like dude how do you only like fit two tacos in and little tacos not even loaded tacos and are good with that like i don't understand and i never understood because like i've always been the the one big girl to like going for round one round two round three you know it's whatever the case is i've just always been able to eat and enjoy food and like now I understand, understand. And he always eats like very slow. It's like, it's like dude listens to his body, <laughs> like his stomach, like he stops when he's full. And me on the other hand, like I've just dealt with those issues where like I just eat, eat, eat until I just like hate food, right? And like hate myself for eating so much. And like now I feel like crap and whatnot. But now eating is so different it's so so different and hang on there you guys this is gonna be a long video i already know it but like i have a lot to tell you guys it's just so different so when i eat now i take my time i chew my food very slow i make sure i chew it up really good too because i am aware that like my stomach is smaller and it's still healing so like i it's always in the back of my mind that i like, just don't want to like reverse anything or hurt myself or harm myself because I'm hungry uh, and whatever like I I just would never put myself in that position having surgery like any type of surgery is like really really hard and I just like wouldn't want to give myself any complications for the matter of being hungry or wanting a bite whatever the case is right I just would never so I'm a lot more self-aware of when to stop so there was this one time, okay, because sometimes, you know, when I started eating solid foods, which I can now eat solid foods, uh, when I started eating soft foods, it's still in my brain. It, it was like, it, it's just something that I have to get used to. It's, it's a new habit that I have to constantly do and do until it's just like muscle memory type of thing. So no more eating fast, uh, no more eating like in... Well, I can eat big portions anyways, but like, even if I know how much I can eat, I won't eat that fast and I won't eat it all because it just like really depends on what kind of food that I'll be fuller faster and whatnot. So anyways, I did commit a mistake one time where I was just like, okay, I can eat a, a cup of this. And, you know, like, so I rushed in and ate it. I was in a hurry. And next thing you know, I was in 
crazy pain like the food was trying to go down but it, it felt like it couldn't fit anywhere anymore so it was coming up so what happened was that i ended up having to throw up i got nausea and i ended up throwing up everything that i had ate even though it was a little bit but i have learned that even though it's a small portion just like really depending on what i'm eating i can't eat too much of it so it was that one time mistake that i never will commit again and again it's a learning process this is very new to me I have never ate like this in my life uh, it's very different so I have to eat very slow I chew my food a lot so I like mush it up really good so it's like able to digest a little easily in my, my little stomach now um, and I eat very slow and I like take breaks I'll, I'll take I'll do like two bites every minute and like I'll just like wait and I'll like I'll feel to see what my stomach feels like because the way I know that I'm full now is like when my stomach begins to feel like this it's like weird to explain but I guess like this hurt type of feeling almost like pain but not painful I wouldn't say like tight it just feels like it hurts but not like an excruciating hurt where like I have to go to the hospital or anything like that like no it's just like a, a little hurt moment that goes away but it like within seconds I don't know how to explain it guys it's like so hard to explain this but I, I hope that you guys can understand it only lasts a few seconds but like that tells me that I'm full so like I'll fully stop and like once I have that feeling all of a sudden like I guess it sends that signal to my brain and I'll feel like I can't look at food no more, like I'm done, I'm full, I can't have another bite. It's so weird because like I'll go from like, oh my god, I can't wait to take another bite. And then my stomach having like that little hurt feeling that like will be there for a moment and then go away. But then that like sends a signal to my brain that I'm full. And then all of a sudden I won't be able to look at the food anymore and like I'll be done and like full. I hope that made sense. It's, I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. And yes, everybody has a different journey with bariatric surgery luckily i am so happy that like everything has been going good so far and you know i'm just like i just constantly plan to keep it that way and constantly will continue to uh make healthy choices and not grab fast food and not uh, grab unhealthy stuff and whatnot there were one two three four five six phases and basically day one and day two were clear liquids which is just water three four five clear liquids and up to two protein shakes and then days six to thirteen full liquids days 14 to 21 pureed foods 22 to 29 soft foods and finally on day 30 you can have solid foods i find myself not reaching anymore for chips like i can't remember last time i had chips i haven't had any fast food uh if i do go out with my family i do make healthier options like i'll reach for like something with protein in it uh possibly like some greens in there i won't reach for anything like processed or sugary or whatnot i've also started to take my bariatric uh chews which don't taste good but i take two of these a day this was one of the brands that my um surgeon's team recommended which is the bariatric advantage the chewable advanced multi vitamins and i got these off of amazon you take two of these a day so i take one in the morning with my protein shake and then i take one at night before bed with like another protein shake and then i also take these calcium citrates uh chews that i also got on amazon and i take one of these during my lunch so i do have to take these at separate times because you can't take these together so yeah i religiously do that every single day and i'm supposed to do that for the rest of my life basically but everything's been feeling super super good like literally no complaints and like i said just the way i eat has been so different so so different and i don't find myself struggling i i really really don't i'm really enjoying this new little stomach of mine inside of me and i do miss okay i do have moments where i do miss being able to like enjoy everything an unlimited amount okay i do have my moments like for example the other day 
me and my family, we had a carne asada. Of course, we had arrachera, we had costillitas, tortillas, salsa. There was, um, we even had uh, ceviche, we had uh, rice, we had beans, you know, all these things. And it's very over, it was very overwhelming to me because like I know before I would serve myself like a little bit of everything and like load up my taco and like take a bite and like just have like all these flavors just like intertwine with each other and like it'd be so delicious. But this time I had to be very careful of just, how can I explain it? I grabbed a little piece of everything because I really wanted to try everything, but I knew that I couldn't have everything. So I took a little piece of everything and I basically had like half, half a bite, half a bite. Okay, so if you put it on a spoon, like half the spoon, so like a little tiny bite of everything so that I could be able to enjoy everything without feeling like, oh man, like I wasn't able to eat that. It looks so good. and But yeah, like that's literally my life now. Um, and I was able to like eat a little bit of everything, like a little bite of everything and I was able to enjoy a little bit of everything. And by the time I was done with my last bite, like, I was done in full. Like, I didn't want to look at anything anymore. And it kind of, like, made me, like, <laughs> it's kind of, like, like, you don't get the full experience anymore. It's a very short ride. But you know what? I love it. Like, like I said, no regrets. It's just, you know, the fat girl in me with just kind of, like, grieving the way I used to eat and you know what, like, I don't ever plan to go back to that, but, you know, she's she's grieving her, you know what I mean? I'm grieving my, my old self, but at the same time, like, I know it's not healthy, and I know it wasn't okay, and I'm, like, so happy that I got the surgery because, like, now I can lose weight, have more energy, do more things, not, like, wobble myself out of the car because, like, that's where I was going towards, like, I was literally on my way to the 300s and like from there it's like so it's been it, it was just so hard to find my motivation that like weight loss surgery is the the biggest best tool ever and not something that I had ever thought about doing which is you know like it, it's just crazy like I had never thought about getting weight loss surgery because I had always done such a good job at like sticking to my diet and following uh a routine in the gym and whatnot but it had just been so hard that like I just don't understand like why I couldn't go back to that and I couldn't so you know what like I started looking into bariatric surgery and honestly no regrets because I feel like now I'm gonna be able to consistently stay on this new journey without having to be like well I could fit all this food in my stomach let me just start next Monday and then the cycle just continues so definitely a great 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 tool so finally let's get into your guys Q&A common question that I get is how did I find my surgeon and basically okay I did not go through my primary doctor I simply went on Google and I looked up top Chicago bariatric surgeons and he was one of the, one of the top ones on there and I just set up a consultation with him and that's how everything got started. Got set up a consultation with him. By the way, his name is Dr. Rami Lutfi in Chicago if you guys are interested. He's great. He's amazing. His team is everyone great. No regrets. The hospital was just all the nurses were just so kind, so so good. I appreciate each and every single person that was involved with my surgery and took care of me literally. I reached out to him. I never mentioned bariatric surgery to my primary doctor. I just like reached out to him, went to him, went to his consultation. He explained the whole process. He does bypass and he also does the gastric sleeve. I don't have any acid reflux or heartburn, anything like that. So we decided to go with the sleeve. He explained to me the process and everything. Uh, at the moment, I didn't have insurance, which is also a common question. I did not have insurance. The surgery was $20,000 out of pocket. They gave me a list of all the insurances they take, did a little homework, did a research, and found an insurance that was best for me and that, that they took as well. So then that way, I was able to, to apply for my surgery. And that's how 
things got on the roll. So after that, and I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna explain the process from there and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have asked these questions and it, they'll be answered through this explanation. So after, um, upon insurance uh, approval, uh, which if you guys don't have insurance, just reach out to a bariatric surgeon, ask them for a list of the insurances they do take, and then do your research on each and every single one of them, and then from there go on and see which uh, insurance is the best for you, and that's what I did. So then uh, once my insurance was up and running, I set up my meetings with the dietitian, which she got me on a proper diet for me to lose weight before surgery, just to like get myself ready and stuff. Uh, then I was to set up an appointment with the psychologist, which I did. You will need therapy if your psychiatrist uh, believes that you need therapy. So did that, got it done. And then I set up my primary doctor visit, which they will run all types of blood tests, make sure that your thyroid's fine, your liver, uh, blood pressure, everything. They wanna make sure that uh, everything looks okay before clearing you out to surgery. So that's another thing. Now, if you get cleared out by all of these things, the faster your your process will move. Um, if you come across like complications, like with your blood pressure and things like that, obviously that will slow down the process. So like that really depends on what your health situation is and also the therapy, like all of that, like it just really depends on you uh, and the process and things that obstacles you come across that will slow down your process or make it faster. After getting cleared out, <clears throat> finally by all of that, um, we then, I then got a call from my surgeon for my surgeon's team to set up a surgery date. And then, you know, you have your surgery and yeah, that's basically the process and I did it. Like it was a process, but you do, you just gotta get it done. I know it seems like forever and I know it seems like, oh my God, but just time flies guys. Like time literally flies. So just hold on and just, keep keep pushing through and then eventually like you'll find yourself with your surgery date and having surgery and getting it done and over with like literally that's how it was i feel like it's been so like i'm already over a month post-op like it's crazy how fast time flies okay i hope that answered a lot of your guys questions that you guys had did you have to prepare for surgery by following a specific diet number of weeks so yes there is the liver shrinking diet that you have to do two weeks before your surgery. So the nurse practitioner called me three weeks before my surgery to remind me that in you know the following week, which would be two weeks before my surgery, that I would definitely, I, I would have to start my two week liquid diet. And then they give you a list of like, you know, you, you'll have pr four protein shakes a day, clear liquids, uh, a, a list of things that you can and cannot have, but basically on clear liquids. I, basically what I was having was four protein shakes a day, water, sugar-free jello, sugar-free popsicles, uh, chicken broth. That's basically what, what I would have uh, for two full weeks. And you know what? Like I thought it was going to be harder. It was pretty hard the first few days, but then it gets easier because in the back of my head, like I'm not gonna mess it up because like I wanna get my surgery. So like my surgery was my biggest motivation in the back of my head that I was not gonna ruin this diet and I was gonna stick through it. Uh, and I did, I did. And it's a shriver, it's it's a liver shrinking diet so that when the surgeon go, goes in laparoscopi laparoscopically, like your organs are in the way or something like that and they could easily get to your stomach and there's no obstacle. And plus that there's not supposed to be anything in your stomach anyways. So basically that that's what that was. What advice would you give someone considering doing the surgery? Get it. Just follow through the process and do it. I mean, speaking personally, you know, from someone who hasn't came across any complications and anything like that, just do it. And another thing is like, be careful of who you tell because not everyone's gonna have a good vibe about it and you don't want to listen to the negative the negative stuff you know what i mean so i was really careful about who i would tell about the surgery because i just didn't want to hear the negativity and um the second i would hear somebody say like oh my god i heard about I i just be like 
You know what I mean? Because everyone's different. Everyone's going to have a different experience. And who's to say that your surgery is going to be super successful? You know what I mean? Or it's going to be bad or whatever it is. You know, God forbid. But um, I just didn't want to hear any of that. I didn't. Uh, so the moment I would hear somebody start with, oh my God, but have a good day. H have a good day, girl. You know what I mean? Um, so be very careful, like, who you tell. You don't want, like, that, you know, you just don't want the negativity. You want to go in with, like, a good, positive, good feeling, good vibes, good energy, because all of that matters. Like, and I, I do truly believe that that matters a lot. So, a very important question. How much weight have I lost? Okay, guys, I have lost a total of 30 pounds. 30 pounds 30 pounds in a month y'all 30 pounds so i went from 282 down to 252 and here's another thing the at first at first the scale moves very quickly very very quickly and then as of recently it started to move a little slower and you know what's crazy i don't have a problem with that i don't have a problem with that mentally it doesn't mess me up at all it doesn't make me feel like i'm gonna go get a bar of chocolate and munch on it because like the scale is well no it like it's just so different I, it, I just don't get in my head like that anymore it hasn't happened to me in like forever like i'll step on the scale and if i've lost an ounce i literally won't trip about it i'll be like okay like, that's great. You know what I mean? I know I'm not eating like I used to anymore. And my options and like the way I'm eating now are like so much better and healthier than before. So I'm not tripping. I really am not tripping at all. And I know I've gotten reached out a lot by people who are like, I've hit a plateau. The scale isn't really moving a lot. Uh, what do I do? Just don't trip, girl. Just keep doing what you're doing and just don't let the scale do that to you. You know you're not eating like you used to anymore and you're doing the best that you can. Don't trip. It's fine. You know what I mean? And that's just been like in my head lately, you know, and that's just so good. And I'm going to continue to hold on to that and practice that mentality too. Like I get on the scale. I, I, I literally get on the scale every single day. And sometimes I'll gain an ounce, literally, or two ounces, just like randomly. I won't be eating anything different or anything out of the ordinary or unhealthy. And like my body just sometimes decides to gain a couple ounces and I'll just be like, it's okay. We'll weigh again tomorrow. Like it's fine. So just like <clears throat> learning how to be okay with what the scale says is different. It's definitely different, like, because before, before old Claudia would see a pound of gain and I'd, like, tear up my kitchen because, like, I gained a pound. I might as well indulge. And I, I hate that I used to have that mentality, but, like, it was really hard. It, it's just, it's like my body and my mentality have changed. Even though I sometimes grieve the way I used to eat, it's just, it's still very different now. I don't know how to explain it, but like it's literally for the best. I just have a really good, I feel like I finally have a good relationship with food and I have a good relationship with the scale. Like I'm losing weight. I, I've, I've lost weight pretty quick in a month, but like now that my weight has started to slow down, like I'm okay with that because um, I don't want to lose weight too fast, which is like crazy. But if I do, I do. But at the same time, like I'm okay with my with the way my body is like losing weight i don't know i'm just like okay with life right now um i'm very content with the results and who i am and who i've been and how i've been feeling and all of that my leggings are starting to my leggings started to fit the way they were supposed to fit because they were extremely tight already um before starting everything extremely extremely tight now they feel like they're starting to get loose and I'm starting to fit into clothes that didn't fit anymore. So, like, that's all been feeling so good. So, I, like, really don't let myself get in my head. And I don't. I just don't. I just don't wake up anymore and think to myself, like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? About myself. I just don't remember ever feeling this way. Like, I just don't ever remember feeling 
like I had a good relationship with food or the scale, but it's so different now. It's so different. Because like I said, like even when I had lost the weight, like I still had a really hard time with the scale and food. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain it guys. Like I don't know what happened inside of my stomach and my brain, but I'm here for it. My sister-in-law bought us pumpkin spice lattes the other day and I didn't have any. I didn't have any and I was okay with that and it was not the slightest bit of like hard for me to say no. Literally, I turned down a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, which mind you, those are my favorite. But I've, I've, this whole process, like I didn't just do all of this to, to have some pumpkin spice latte. Like not yet, you know what I mean? Maybe next year I'll have some pumpkin spice latte. But I don't feel the temptations, I don't feel the cravings. I am in control of my like like thoughts sorry guys my camera turned off it's like overheating uh but now i have i'm in control of like if there's a hot chocolate like okay my favorite is the white chocolate mocha from starbucks and if i had like the option of like my premier protein shake like i i literally would not even like hesitate to be like my premier protein shake like it's just so it's just so different um and I, I don't know guys, maybe I've like spent too much time trying to explain, but it's it's different. It's, it's definitely different. Was I scared to get surgery? Yes, I was terrified. I mean, not gonna lie, I think having any type of surgery is, or that you have to go under anesthesia is absolutely terrifying. Um, so I was very, very scared. I, ha I had faith. I like went in with um, very, very positive mindset that everything was gonna be okay. I was gonna go to sleep for a little bit and wake up and be completely okay uh and that's how it was like when i woke up i was in my room already valerie i remember valerie my mom walking in like very like uh, it, it, it's like like it comes in in i don't know what kind of like moments like i remember and don't remember uh coming out of anesthesia and i just remember being like in so much pain like up here like kind of like in the middle of my chest and i remember asking the nurse like I don't know if I'm having chest pain or or like is it my stomach I don't know but like it just hurts so much and it just felt like somebody had like taken a blow to like right in the middle of my chest but inside of my body I think that's the best way I can explain to it explain that to you and it, it would come um in like moments and that first day after surgery was like the most like painful I guess I would say I don't know but the next day I started feeling a little bit better uh, they do blow you up with air so that was that was one of the hardest things after surgery you know trying to figure out if like like if there's something wrong going on inside of my stomach or or if there's like an opening or something because like this is not normal and like or is this normal I don't understand like is, is am I okay I don't know um so that's where I appreciate a lot of you guys reaching out to me and letting me know that those it, it felt like cramps inside it felt like uh like I was trying to like a burp was trying to come out but like nothing was coming out and I just couldn't figure out like what was going on. So basically you have to walk a lot after surgery to get all of the air out and it's gonna come out through a fart or through burping. So I did a lot of walking after surgery when I got home, of course, because like that pain really, really sucks. I'd be in bed like, oh, it hurts so much. I was on YouTube and everything trying to figure out if that was normal and whatnot. And yes, it is, it is normal. And it, yes, it does go away. So yes, that feeling of like, like a cramp inside does go away if you constantly walk and you know you just gotta let that air out just let it out literally you have to let it out and then I think like around week three that's when like I wasn't feeling it no more uh but now I do get that feeling like when I'm full like my stomach hurts inside so and that's basically the ind indication that I'm full and it's not like a it's not like a crazy pain where I'm just like ah you know what I mean like no it's just kind of like a like a little feeling inside where I'm just like oh okay yeah I'm full and then I'll like stop and I can't look at food no more it's it's weird I'm telling you but that's like the best that I can explain it um to you guys without like 
I don't know. That's just the best way I can explain it to you guys. You guys know I'm like not the greatest at explaining things, but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. Hey loves, I know I look completely different. It's a completely different day. I'm actually editing this video that you guys have now watched and I realized that because my camera kept dying, sometimes when I press record, it won't record and that's what happened to the last clip. So I'm here to answer the last question and close off the video. The last question is, uh, have you started losing hair? And uh, maybe because I'm only one month post-op, usually you start losing hair. I even asked my... Uh, surgeon about it or his team the n nurse practitioner what can i do to like avoid that from happening uh, you, you guys know us women like our hair is a big thing to us like i love my hair like i already don't even have like a lot to begin with but she said that it, it's, it's kind of part of the process but like it'll grow back out um it's just part of the process because your body is like not receiving all the nutrients and stuff that you used to receive but I've been doing really, really good taking my vitamins and also my calcium something, that, that little other chew, chewy one. Uh, religiously, every day on the on the dot. So hopefully that like helps without with like my hair not falling out as much or at all. Fingers crossed. But it's something that's gonna happen. It has not happened to me yet. It, like literally still looks the same. I literally look in the mirror every single day. I'm like, <gasps> does it look like I'm losing hair yet but it's it, it looks the same i don't think anything has really changed just yet and like i said fingers crossed hopefully it doesn't fall off at all but yeah loves that is basically all i have for this video if you guys have any more questions um feel free to leave them down in the description box and the yeah right the description box below i know i haven't been posting as much on here because i've been like super busy as you can see i got rid of my clothes and i actually gifted it to one of my clients who was in need of new clothes she, she's a, a big girl like me and we were just talking about clothes and how like she's looking for some clothes and it's hard to look for clothes so i was like girl i have six bags that i am gonna donate would you like them and she's like oh my god yes just let me know how much you want and i was like no girl like you could have them if you want like just let me know when you're available and we can set up something you can come pick it up it's like a lot of it's really good clothes with uh a lot a lot of the clothes still has tags on it a lot of really nice winter uh sweaters and stuff that i got rid of um so yeah and like right now i'm in the process of getting ready to film a haul a fashion overhaul with like new t-shirts that i got and like a lot of really cool stuff that i'm excited to show you guys in this new hot girl body <laughs> uh, i haven't done a try on haul in forever you guys know i haven't bought clothes in forever i think since last year still rocking my like fashion nova sh shirts that i had gotten last year around this time i think it was so finally homegirl got herself some new so a few a few new pieces so yeah you know we're getting there, we're getting there. So super excited to show you guys that haul. And yeah, I was super excited. You know, she's she like left left the shop super happy with new nails and like a new wardrobe, <laughs> you know. So like I'm happy. I'm happy. So, you know, it, it all it all fell fell into place basically. Like it was meant for me to, you know, take take out that clothes, put it in bags, and come across her who, you know, was looking for some some clothes and you know. I'm, I'm happy i'm happy to gift it to her so yeah uh that is basically all i have for this video guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and again i will see you guys new <laughs> i will see you guys again with a new video really really soon love you guys